Good morning. Hey, so <clears throat> it is mid-September and I'm trying out a new mic that I've had for some time. It's the Adutige ETM001 and it is an omnidirectional mic and it should include other sounds besides my voice. Hopefully it's not rubbing too much on my windbreaker. Okay, so it's super dark. And yesterday while I rode, it was dark. And there were so many animals on the trail. I wanted to share them with you guys. At one point, a barn owl was flying above my head for a little bit in the same direction. I don't know if I'd be able to recapture that. But who knows? Okay, so on this bike trail, even though it's dark, there are people on it jogging. I'm in luck because those sprinklers weren't on because they've been on. Looks like they were on earlier, but <clears throat> maybe they turned off because I'm a little bit late today. So, um, I've been bike commuting here and there. I uh, found a new friend to car commute with me. So I'll mix that in in the winter months, fall months. I always just say summer or winter. I forget fall and spring. <clears throat> okay, look. See that? It's like a little animal. Oh, it's a cat. A little Siamese cat. <clears throat> okay, so yesterday, uh, I left earlier and there are way more animals out here. I think my light's really bright. 1500 lumen because I'm taping. If I weren't taping, I wouldn't need all this light. Oh, where are the animals? So, for lunch, I brought a ham and Swiss sandwich on sourdough with mayo, some classic Lay's, a bunch of grapes, half a banana, and I also have, I also have some oatmeal with a little bit of milk, sugar, and um, I added some peanut butter. I normally don't add sugar, but I had some agave in my oatmeal yesterday, and I don't know what happened to it. It spoiled. I poured it in in a big lump of uh, mold poured out. It's totally gross. Normally my agave nectar is really thick, but this brand that I got, which touted being lighter calories, was very liquidy. So I think that just gave
It was very liquidy, so it gave organisms a chance to grow. Because if you have too much sugar, like honey, they're not going to grow. Same thing goes with salty stuff. It's too salty. They're not going to grow. Like fish sauce. Okay. I wonder if I should wear a Halloween costume. For Halloween. You can't see anything. I'm just looking for animals. I want to show you guys some animals. Everyone's being blinded by my my 1500 lumen I'm burning out retinas. Good morning. Morning. It's bright. It's all for the video. Okay. I've been having fun playing with my GoPro and experimenting with different mics um, I didn't like how shaky the video was hey it's really windy now I, I don't know if you could tell but it's windy because I'm coming downhill and uh, um, I got the GoPro to do hikes and then I took it on a hike I said I hate what it looks like ooh shaky handheld so I bought myself a fun new gimbal and it's a three axis it's pretty awesome but I've been so busy working or having fun I haven't been able to take the camera out you know, you just don't want to carry all that stuff. Carry all that gim carry all that GoPro on a gimbal, which is completely small compared to what they used to be. I'm getting spoiled. You know, it's such a luxury to have like uh, tablets. You know, they're so easy to work on. I'm so lazy, I can't even open my MacBook Pro. <sighs> it's like cumbersome, it's like, eh, MacBook Pro. <sighs> my phone though, I hate my phone, it's so small. It's an iPhone 4S. It stinks. I can't even see it. I can't see the print on iPhones anymore. I can't see them that well. I'd rather just ignore them. What the hell is that? A homeless person. In, in the middle of like uh, uh, I notice when I bike um, it doesn't take that long for my legs to get toned <coughs> so because I'm not that in shape, but 
Looks like they're coming back. Slowly. I just haven't been riding as much. Normally I ride both ways. Round trip. But... I've been lazy. Good morning. Okay, let's talk about wearing underwear with your shorts. Um, sometimes I do when I'm in a hurry and you shouldn't. Because padded shorts offer comfort from your seat, but also comfort from chafing of your underwear. So you pretty much don't want anything between that pad and your short, your body. And it's nice and comfy and if you really want to get into it and don't want any chafing there's a product that I once knew about it's called chamois butter and it's a lubricant that you wear down there to prevent chafing Yucky. Oh, gross. I never used it. I've seen it though. Seen it in the little packets. Um. What can I talk about? Well, currently I'm wearing shorts in my regular summer attire. And it's second day of fall but soon when it gets in the 40s because it's probably in the 50s now I'll probably want to break out the winter pearl azumi tights and maybe wear a long sleeve jersey in addition to my tank top and my UV protection shirt and this windbreaker uh, really sad there's no animals out here I need to leave earlier uh, yesterday there were so many animals a lot of them I saw a buck a coyote a baby deer with his mama uh, probably like 15 cottontails, maybe 8 jackrabbits. Uh, did I say coyote? Coyote was fast. It ran up the hill as I approached. Uh, the barn owl. That was pretty incredible. I saw its big head. Once I was riding in the night, I don't know what it was, but it, I think it was a vulture. Or a, um, not a cormorant. Those black birds with a really wide wingspan. Is that, um, let's see. I don't know what kind of bird it was, but its wingspan was as wide as this bike trail and it was sw swooping down coming towards me it was beautiful it was in the night I think it was messing with me but at night the animals come closer to this bike trail and uh, Yesterday, they were all darting in front of me. 
are just hanging out on the trail. The deer and the baby and its baby are just standing. So I guess I'll have to leave much earlier. So, oh, what's that bird? Oh, is that a, a an owl? Oh my God, it's an owl! Look at it. You see it? <laughs> oh my God, it's an owl. I got the barn owl. So awesome. Looked like he was looking for breakfast. So awesome. I got the barn owl. That's what I wanted to get. Too bad I'm on wide though. Narrow. Would have been better, but I can't follow it if it's mounted on my chest. I should just hang out out here with a camera. Sit on that bench right there. Hmm, my butt hurts. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need new shorts. I can't wait for fall to start. I want one of my favorite shows the start. My favorite shows are Last Man on Earth, Fresh Off the Boat, what else? There's other ones. Uh, I know I like those too. They're funny. I'm sorry. I'm blinding everybody. Um... Bates Motel. It's scary. Downton Abbey. I don't understand why they don't just continue that show. Bunch of idiots. Everybody loves that show. Or just make it. Put it on regular channels where you can sell ads. Uh, what else? I always watch Forensic Files, although I've seen all those episodes. In 48 Hours. In Dateline. You know what? Let me see what it's like riding without the light. You wanna do that? They're just pulsing. Here, let me just turn it off. Okay. What's that look like? Dark. There's still people out here in the morning. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just dark sky. I'm always afraid of mountain lions. I've had some family members where mountain lions have attacked their livestock and it's not a pretty sight. And then once my husband took me down to this area for a little hike and He's like, he's like, it's the place where that lady got mauled by the mountain lion while she was jogging. I'm like, I don't want to go there. No. But I went. And remember before we started the hike, there was this huge thing of poop with like berries in it. And 
I'm like, this is a hard trail. He's like, oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. And then we did the whole hike. And I said, this is boring. I want to go back. So I was so bored. I, we ran all the way back to the car. Because I didn't feel safe. And I was bored. And, um, and then the big poop was there again. And he goes, hey, you guys see this? This is bear poop. <laughs> I had a feeling. Because <sighs> he looked at me funny when he saw that. I'm like, great. Why would you take me out there? If you, you know, there's bear poop. Bear could have got us. Bears. I'm scared of bears and mountain lions. And rattlesnakes. Or snakes in general. And stray dogs. I'm not scared of homeless people. I'm not really scared of that. I'm scared when... Um... Oh, nothing. Forget it. I was just going to say something stupid. Okay. It's dim out here. Man, these runners. I admire these runners. This bike vlog is going nowhere. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh my god, bats! I should have got video of that. There were bats swarming under there. All making that crazy little noise. <laughs> Did I ever tell you guys where I'm located? Well, maybe I should. Sacramento and I'm approaching California State University Sacramento and I'm riding along the American River I think I already told you my other blog viewers the location or gave it away in the comments. So yesterday I was riding right here. Some car buzzed me. Really. It's not necessary. There's like nobody out here at this time. I must hate cyclists. It was someone in an SUV. Big one. Garbage day it stinks. If you get behind a garbage truck and you're biking, disgusting. Especially the water that pours from a garbage truck. So gross. Okay. Here's St. Francis. That's an all-girls school. It's really fancy. I know. I've known of some women who've gone there. They're all fancy. They have an air about them. They have an air of fanciness. I wonder what kind of air I have about me. I wonder. Hmm. I have a job that most people wouldn't think I have. And most people would never think I bike commute. People just don't know. I'm not easily readable.
Okay, if you go left here, you're at Cordy Brothers and they sell really good cheeses. They have really fancy cheese. Have you had a, ever had a raclette? It's a fancy cheese way of eating. Okay, so raclette began with sheep herders in, I want to say Switzerland, but I can't remember. I think Switzerland. And they used to roast their cheese and put it on bits of bread accompanied with cornichons, salted meats, and I think some vegetables, and fingerling potatoes, and what else? Those tiny little onions, pickled onions. So I bought one of those sets and it is fun. Much funner than fondue. Much more hygienic. You're not looking up other people's cheese. Um, from other people's germs off of cheese sticks dipped in hot pots of cheese. Well, Cordy Brothers is where you can find the Ratclad cheese. And it's like a fist size of cheese is probably like $17. And it stinks to high hell, but it tastes delicious. You should do it. Just look online, Raclette. You can even buy the little Raclette sets. You can buy for your wife or your man. She'd be so impressed. Like, what? You know something about something I don't know? Or maybe you already know. But it's pretty cool. I learned it from my friend Sam. Sam is a translator for a local TV station. He does Spanish translation. And he's from Colombia. So, and he's traveled a lot. So I don't know where he learned it, but it's fun. It's so fun. When people sit down to a table for raclette, their, their eyes look crazy. Like, what the hell are we doing? They get excited. But if you're a vegetarian, sorry, no, raclette is not for you. If you don't eat cheese. You can use other cheeses like Swiss. Like, I think if you want to keep your calories down, you just take a slice of Swiss and you cut that into six pieces. And then you put the cheese on a little roasting tray. It's like a little paddle. And then you stick it into the raclette thing and it, um, it, basically like a salamander where you're roasting the cheese from above and then you scoop it onto a piece of bread that you can toast on top of the raclette and then you could roast whatever you want it's like an assortment of things <sighs> okay this pink house right here it used to be my marker for an hour of biking, but I've been taking a shortcut, a two mile shortcut going through a um, different route. I like talking about food. I used to dine out a lot. Um, all I ever did. Before the word foodie came out, I was all into food. I've never called myself a foodie though. It sounds pretentious. 
I used to uh, work for a food critic in Santa Barbara. It was one of the best gigs. He'd show up, we'd go out. Videotape his food. I was there assisting. This is in Santa Barbara. And afterwards, we'd get to eat. It was so awesome. It was really cool. There was a famous person um, I had lunch with once. He joined us on the food review. He's not that famous, but he came from a famous family. His name is, gosh, I already forgot his name, but he produced and directed Fletch. And uh, he's Michael Douglas's younger brother. And he was really nice. This is a really cute neighborhood. I would totally... Oh shit. Oh shit. Um, I'm glad I'm not behind that guy. Stinky. This is a cute place, but damn, these houses are close to each other. I mean, I just looked in that window there and some guy was making his breakfast. Do hand signal. Hand signal. I used to not do hand signals, but it's courteous. I don't know. Lately, I've been trying to think of other people besides myself. I'm trying to be more courteous. I've been trying to reach out to people more instead of closing myself off. Life is short, you know? So much out there to see, to learn. To love. I saw this thing on the internet. It's like this is a little girl named Tiana. She's telling her mom. I think she's like half Korean. She's telling her mom that she needs to love. Not love, but not have high standards and not have low standards and expectations. And that she's a person and everyone's a person and she wants everyone to smile. Cute. This is a cute video. The caption said that she was talking about her parents divorcing, but that's not true. It's about a broken. She's talking in relation to a broken shoe rack that her parents argued over. But someone on the internet just people on the internet been in their own thing, stealing that video. But I mean, whatever. What the girl said was still very heartwarming and heart affecting. It made me cry. What a special little girl with such insight. I know you're all, oh, shut the hell up. Well, this is my blog. You do what you want on yours. He's not playing his guitar. He normally plays a guitar.
Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You're very helpful. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. I kind of want to bring a sandwich for that guy over there that plays a good guitar. He looks like he could use one. Oh no, don't hit me. Let's move up a nice new gate. There used to be people that slept over there. Look at that guy, he's wearing a tie like a headband. Look, how am I supposed to ride when there's a guy in my lane? All right, I'll just go here. This is illegal. So illegal. And look, this guy's gonna turn into me. Oh, yeah, she could hit me. That was greedy. She wasn't even watching. She did not have patience for the man waiting for me to cross the sidewalk. So she decided to overpass that guy and could have hit me had I been going at a normal rate. So typical. She's all bad. So she can get to work 10 seconds faster. Okay, so this is Setter's Fort. You know, that's not the original location of Setter's Fort. It was at the crux of the American Sacramento Fort, but they moved it. The only thing original about that Setter's Fort is the building where Setter lived. I don't even know how they moved buildings back then. But it's cool. You know, nice little replica surrounding the original building that was moved. Hermanas. Um, I was reading Yelp and they said they had a delicious cilantro lime salad dressing. So that lured me in. And yes, they do. But I don't remember the salad being that beefy. I don't remember the greens being that green. But that was a while ago. So. Who knows? That might have changed. But the food's good there. By what I recall. There's Badlands. Badlands. The faces. I went to Badlands a couple years ago. Who was that I saw? I forgot her name. It was a 90s lady, 90s singer. It was good. Reminded me of the 90s. Is it that song, Finally? Uh, I don't know. Everything's a blur. 90s, I mean, seriously. I don't even think I have one picture of me in the 90s. Okay, maybe, maybe I have like seven pictures of me. 90s was a hard time. 90s was rough. Two thousands much better. Mid two thousands way better. What is that? 
dude's just giving that lady a massage in a parking lot on the ground. Every time I stop, it makes me sad. I'm gonna be late. I'll get it all on tape. It's a little off over there. I think, I think the governor lives in it. I heard the governor lives in one of these lofts. Oh, I can make this. Only takes four seconds. I know Arnold Schwarzenegger used to live in the Hyatt. I like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I did when he was in Terminator, but I don't like him anymore. <clears throat> I thought he was so cool, you know? I just thought he was so awesome, you know? Maria's husband. And I found out he was sleeping with his maid, and... Oy. Horrid. I never heard all those awful things about him. Eee. Yay! I know people aren't perfect. Yay! Okay, so the other day I was with my girlfriends and we saw three raccoons running around in the state capital. So this bush over here. juveniles. It's weird. I don't know why they were running from the capital. I wonder if there's like a little den of raccoons over here. Where would they go? How do they travel? He's not going to see me. He could hit me in the head with a stick. There was a time where I think twice in my life I could have been three times I was almost abducted. When I was a little girl, I wasn't little, but maybe 13, I was walking down the street, my home, some scary, scary car drove up. I seen like six guys were in it, young guys, and they didn't belong there. It was like a low rider. And they looked sketchy. They were up to no good. Because they circled the block twice. And then tried to call me over. I'm like, no. I don't think so. And let's see. One time I was jogging. And this car kept coming up and down the street. And um, this man uh, kept slowing down as I was jogging, and there was a woman in the car, and they were, 
like slowing down, staring. You know, I'm not nothing to look at, okay? I just look young. And, uh... And, um... Interesting, there's a... One of my coworkers is sitting on that bench over there. She's gonna take a bus to work. turning green okay so the car they pulled over and they didn't just pull over the side of the road they pulled over in front of the sidewalk in front of me and said hey can, can we ask you something and I'm like okay and they go hey do you and then they're like whispering They're whispering, and um, they're like, "Come here." And then I was looking at the lady, and she had a black eye, and her lips were all jacked up like she got beat. And then he said, "Come closer." And I'm like, "Uh, not." And then they said, do you know where this street is? And that street did not even exist in that area. So I ran around the car, back to my place. And I, I look like 20 years younger than I am. So people think I'm like a little kid or something. Okay, and the other time I was at an ATM. ATM. I was decided to check my oil at 12.30 in the morning at an ATM, outside of an ATM after getting money. And this guy circled around in a truck with his back uh, tail open and the hatch to his shell up. And he kept circling around and he says, hey, do you need help? And I'm like, mm, no, I'm fine, thank you. And he drives off, like, all mad. Hey, there's a new King's Arena. He drives off, all mad, and comes back. I'm like, ain't no way in hell am I going in that stupid shell. So I put my head down and just drove off. But I bet ya, he wished my car were stalled. Right now I'd be somebody's slave. What's going on here? Oh, this is some um, farmer's market. Thursday, farmer's market. Thursdays, they sell Yolanda's tamales. They're so good. They're really good. You should get it with the hot sauce. Or the green salsa, not hot sauce. Whatever salsa that thing is. Green, red, whatever, it's delicious. Um, I'm going to slow all these people down and be all pissed and they'll run me over I'll go over here they're making a new walkway so people can easily access Old Sack from the arena area.
stop at this light. Okay guys, so this is Tower Bridge. I call it, I don't know what the real term is for it, but it doesn't spin around. It's elevator bridge. It lifts up in the center. The ice tree bridge is nearby and that one spins. Ice Street Bridge is really narrow and rusty looking. Uh, there's an old sack. past the time. Thank you for watching all two of you and I hope you are safely by commuting and you have a good day. Say biking to you. Whoa. <sighs> Don't hit any pedestrians. <sighs> Alright, I'll let it know when when I get in. <sighs> That's my real bike right there. Don't get abducted and always carry a weapon. Yay! A weapon that hurts really good. Yay! All right, take care. Bye.